Hi everyone. So I finally decided to get round to doing an actual video that I for what I planned to have my YouTube channel for. Um, I was going to show you the book I was using to plan Dead House <coughs> to kind of show uh, my working process as it were but I can't actually find it right now so instead I'm going to show you um, the various journals and whatnot that I use as a kind of outlet for my <laughs> issues um, because I think anyone who doesn't do this should um, especially people that have mental health issues because it's very cathartic, it's very therapeutic and it helps you get things sorted in your head um, and make sense of things that probably wouldn't be able to make sense of just having it in your head because you know that gets loud and messy and whatnot so this is my first one um, that I started doing it was actually going to, supposed to be like a full on um, book type thing but uh, I haven't actually finished it yet um, with things like this it's uh, really just about whatever is in you basically so you know if you write more then yours will be filled with writing if you draw more then it will be full of drawings you don't have to have like any writing at all if you don't if you're not into writing and you don't have to have any drawings at all if you're not into drawing I mean even if you just like cut loads of pictures out and like that represent how you feel and just write notes around it or like just write why it's um, relevant to you like there really are no rules in for doing things like this because it's literally about you like I know most things people say that you know that there seems to be this whole thing about people um, doing things for themselves um, and like this constant fear of being considered selfish or self-absorbed or whatever and there's it's it's if it's something you've got to do like there's a difference between being selfish and self-care you know you've got to kind of balance it out the thing that people don't get a lot of the time is that like and a, a lot of people that do experience stuff like to um make a big thing about it not being like this but in all fairness when you have something like depression or whatever it does become you do become very self-absorbed because you get stuck and trapped in your head um so it it, it is it, it you you become part of this world that is literally all about you um so, you know, it's, it's, you've got to completely let go of the whole, oh, I should be thinking about other people, blah, 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 because you've got to do whatever's best for you, because despite what people think, I think that's the end of that one, yeah, it is, um, you know, <laughs> mental health is a big deal and 
I know people, you know, a lot of people still don't like to admit that, you know, mental health, like mental illness is a real thing. Like, they still think that depression is laziness or, you know, feeling sorry for yourself for no reason and self-pity and all that kind of crap. And it's not, um, and, you know, the sooner that's, universally recognized the sooner that people who have these problems they can get the help they need but anyway that particular rant i'll save for another day um this is one of my black books um most of the ones before this um uh, yeah, then I stopped numbering them. Um, yeah, the ones before this I got rid of, which I really regret now, because some of them actually had some pretty good ideas in. But um, I started these when I was about 11. Um, I watched Girl Interrupted, and obviously Susanna Cason uh, kept a journal the entire time she was um, in, uh, in the hospital so it kind of you know got me to thinking um like because I've always been into writing that's one of my biggest most constant interests is writing so I just thought it was a good idea and from then on I just always had a journal um and it doesn't like a lot of the time it does feel to me like, you know, all I'm doing is filling all these pages with tons of fucking whiny, like, whiny bullshit, um, but, you know, who the fuck cares? At the end of the day, ideally, no one else is going to see your journals. Um, you know, it's purely a, um, an instrument of self-care, basically. So it doesn't matter, you know, you don't have to write anything groundbreaking or, you know, if, if you're drawing, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece. You just gotta, you know, do whatever it takes to get the crap out your head basically um let's see yeah that was when I was like getting really um uh yeah some of these are like story-ish um I, th I think about things better and um, when I think of them in terms of stories like um, it might just be part of my autism um, but like everything is uh, with me everything is relate can be related to stories and films and animes and uh, TV series and all that because that's how I make sense of things, that's how I understand things, especially in terms of people and society and social interaction and all that kind of thing, is that, you know, I suck at that kind of stuff, so, um, yeah, I, I make sense of it by watching films and reading books, so a lot of the time I put everything into stories because it makes things make sense for me. Um, but this was, this is all part of, uh, one of my <laughs> bigger issues, as it were. Um, uh, you know, problems with, uh, uh, reality, um, 
yeah being able to tell what's real and you know whether existence is how we see it <clears throat> um and like I don't know it's kind of hard to put into words like this um it's not something that I'm particularly uh good speaking about that's why I write stuff down like this because you know when it comes to talking uh I <laughs> pretty much suck so um but yeah a lot of it ended up being like put into a story um which I do actually plan on uh writing as a um on like actually putting it as a story and maybe getting published or something I don't know uh, that's just you know some useless dream that occasionally I come back to um, but yeah that's most of that um, me fanboying I fanboy a lot. Um, so yeah, most of that is about uh, John and whatnot. Oh yeah, and sometimes, you know, I have little things that I found, like this excerpt here about parallel universes, because that's, you know, pretty... Uh, um, Uh, fuck, what's the word? I can't think of the word, but it, it's relevant to uh, my theories. <laughs> that was well-timed. Uh, mm, yeah. Um, ooh. Yeah, there's like a lot of, um, it usually ends up being like, you know, my thoughts and then occasionally just comes out like really angry. I, I have a lot of anger in me. <laughs> uh, I it's, it's really frustrating in a way. I don't know if other people get like this, but I have like... It's almost as if everything that goes on, like, in my head. I sound like a crazy person. Um, oh yeah, that's me as a, as a kid. Um, oh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Um, everything inside my head is like in a uh, kind of in a straight jacket or something because like I'll have this like full on rage you know and like feeling like I'm burning up from the inside and so so angry and I just want to break everything but like even when it gets to the level where it's like it literally feels like it's about to tear me apart at any moment. It just doesn't come out. Like, you know, some people, they get pissed and they go punch something. I have nev never really punched anything, to be honest. Um, I don't scream. I very rarely shout. Um, it just doesn't come out, it just all stays inside, so, I mean, like, most of the time it's difficult to make people understand how you're feeling anyway, like, under normal circumstances, even if you can, like, get your anger out that way, like, 
in terms of like if you break something or punch something like you know that that's obvious that you're angry then but if you don't have that kind of um demonstration as it were then you know it's even harder to make people understand that you're not you're not just whistling dixie you know you're not just bullshitting for the hell of it you really do feel these things and you know you've got no way to demonstrate that because it's all trapped inside and then you get to the really crazy stuff <laughs> yeah I'm pretty much definitely kind of crazy um None of that stuff matters. Just trying to. I like that. What world is this? asked Alice. Who are you? asked the caterpillar. And in unison, they answered the other's question. I don't know. <laughs> that wasn't actually in Alice in Wonderland. For those of you who haven't read Alice in Wonderland, it's just something I uh, made up like this. Which is actually in the, um, I started writing out the whole memoir thingy, um, I'm doing it in, I think I actually did it in first person, but it's like, like a, a story, um, but it starts out with an Alice in Wonderland parody type thing. Never finished watching that film. Um... So yeah, I'm just seeing if there's anything more of interest in uh, this particular... Oh yeah, blood. Blood. Oh, that's bollocks. Everyone always ends up making the same mistakes. I certainly do. Um, I... I fucking rant a lot, my god. And there's like never, like, there's never a particular, like this is before I started writing in capital letters all the time. My handwriting just, it's never the same, you know? <laughs> Usually because like, like, this is how my handwriting comes out when I'm like, writing fast because I have to try and keep up with my thoughts oh yeah mm. anywho uh, sorry this is probably really boring for you people I am actually trying to think of something else to talk about um, oh yeah there's like if you go through all the, uh, all the journals I have, you can see where my um, my mood switch. Like, this is one of the reasons why my mum reckons I'm bipolar, like her, because if you go through my journals, there are there's a definite um, a definite uh, turnaround kind of thing going on. Like, you know. there's pages and pages and pages of like rage and hate and I hate everything and I want to die and blah 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 and then there's you know other moments that come along where it's like uh you know all well you know positive and I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be this and you know, I can do this, I can get through it, and I won't give up, and all that bollocks. <laughs> um, which, you know, a lot of the time actually comes, again, comes from stories, like when I reached this particular bit in Naruto, um, I just got so inspired by it, that it's just like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do that. So... You know, you get moments like that, where it's like... 
you know, going all re pro recovery and all that. Um, and then it just switches again. It just goes around and round and round, basically. Um, and then, yeah, then you're back to the hate and the rage and whatnot. But, like, one of the interesting things about, like, keeping these things is... <laughs> it's not all just whining and bitching about stuff, you know? I don't know about other people's journals, because, you know, that's... I haven't seen anyone else's, like, written journals like this, but, you know, you end up really thinking about stuff, you know? <clears throat> Like, you end up coming up with, like, all these random, uh, random questions, and, and then you'll theorise about all of it, and then you'll, like, start coming up with answers, and, well, they're, they're never really answers as such, it wouldn't have, wouldn't be anywhere near as frustrating if you actually came up with answers, but, uh, you know, you end up uh, really, I don't know, kind of musing about stuff. Oh, well, like that. Okay, so that's the end of that one. Oh yeah, for this one I ended up, like, doing that on every page. I'm not entirely sure why. Uh, oh yeah, and I think this is the first one I actually started, um, uh, dating my entries. Before that I didn't bother, um, dating my entries. Oh, and I have a weird thing about n n number three. Don't get me started on that though, because I can go on forever. Um, and you know, I'm kind of already taking ages. So I'll probably like stop this one after this one and then do another part part for the other ones. So <laughs> don't anyone will actually watch it anyway. Just killing time basically. Uh Let's see, this was when I was still in the, uh, in the foyer. Ugh, oh, foyer. For those of you who don't know, the foyer is, um, I think it's called sheltered housing, actually. But it's kind of like a youth hostel type thing. Uh, 16 to 25 year olds that have nowhere else to go, like, you know, running away or getting kicked out or whatever um uh yeah you get your you get your own room and that has a has a shower and on uh, it's on suite um shared kitchens though so i never use the sh use the kitchens um but uh just ended up getting so damn noisy and there was fights all the time and i had some guy trying to get me to do shrooms and oh yeah I mean I guess if you were like you know into that kind of uh, social life then yeah I guess it would be okay but you know someone who doesn't particularly like noise despite you know having a lot of noise at the moment <laughs> um, oh yeah this one like what I was saying earlier, I don't explode, I implode. Um, one of the points I started writing in capital letters. 
Um, yeah, sometimes I use song quotes, uh, film quotes. Oh, this was one of my suicide attempts. Blood. That I didn't actually pull off. <laughs> Oh yeah, I quite like that. I, was, I'm, I might put that in the as a... Uh, this is the question... Uh, question vendor. He was supposed to be a sort of... Uh, Mad Hatter type character. And he says, uh, questions, questions, get your questions here. Totally free, folks. Order three right now and get a bonus question. And that's not all. Collect your questions today, and you can go home with your very own unique madness, custom made to suit you. All absolutely free, ladies and gentlemen. So what are you waiting for? Order now! <laughs> just something random. I, just, I am a very random person, you know. Uh, fanboy in about Cory Taylor. Um, anyway, I really need to stop, like, wasting so much time. Rage. Uh, I should have gone through these beforehand and like. Um, there are no answers, moron. Yeah, I should have gone through uh, through these beforehand and um, like marked pages of interest or something because I have no idea where I'm going with this at all. Yeah, I didn't like plan these videos out or anything. I just have a general idea and then I'm make it up as I go along, which I actually do with everything. <laughs> like there's this whole thing that autistic people like um, stick to the plan kind of thing. I only stick to the plan when there is a plan and you know, uh, most of the time I don't have a plan, so I just kind of wing it. I wonder where that saying came from, wing it. I have no idea. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh wow, look, that was this year. God, I get through journals really fast. Sometimes random poetry pops up that I never actually do anything with because I ran out of words that rhyme. Yeah, that's another thing, like, not, um, uh, writing poems that, people who write poems that don't rhyme, like, I don't know why, I just, I, I can't stand writing poetry that doesn't rhyme. It just, it's weird to me, I don't know. I mean, I guess at the end of the day, it kind of gets uh, boring after a while. There are only so many rhyming words after all, but I don't know. It just seems weird to write, uh, oh yeah, obsession with Japan. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, people's obsession with not rhyming, whatever. Fucking, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Uh, I am a chicken shit fencer. Oh, that's true. Right, I have music in the background because I like having music on. And I've got a uh, Spotify playlist that's just playing random shit. Well, it's, it's not shit, obviously, because, you know, you wouldn't be listening to it if it was shit, but... I'm, like, obsessed with Teen Wolf at the moment, so I'm going to have to go on around here. Uh, they had uh, this song, but um, a cover version that's much, much slower. And uh, it's playing in one of, like, the most awesome scenes in the entire series. Um season three um with the i'll just say the nuggets unis because i don't want to like you know spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen that and wants to see it so uh i won't say anything more but it's a really fucking awesome scene and uh a really slow version of this song is playing as as the scene happens and it, it oh my god it's just so awesome
<laughs> uh, okay, fanboy moment over. Again. Oh, look. More anger. Yeah, see? That was supposed to be a cracked mirror, but I suck at drawing broken mirrors, so. Whoa. Now that is what my handwriting gets when I'm, you know, pissed. Um, uh, for most, uh, a lot of that, this lot, I was uh, actually at my cousin's house. Wow, I don't even know what I was doing there. I think it was something to do with parallel universes. Um, this is the thing, you know, you get so wrapped up in your, uh, is that a dare or a double dare? Um, oh yeah, for all of this bit I was actually watching Girl Interrupted at the time for like, God, I don't know how many times I've actually watched that movie. Um, what was I saying before that? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, you literally, you just get so, uh, wrapped up in, um, in the stuff in your head that you just like, you don't even realise how much you're doing, like, in terms of journaling, you, you, you just go for it and, you know, you look back over it and you fill pages with all this ranting and rambling and you're like, fuck, because, you know, you just, you don't, it, it, you're so absorbed in it that you don't realise how many pages you're filling with this crap, it's amazing. Um... But, you know, it does, uh, it kind of really hits you when you go through it like this. Uh, fucking hell, this has been 30 minutes already. Wow. Uh, so yeah, there wasn't actually a point to any of this, except to tell people that if you do not already keep a journal then keep a journal because you know it's useful um very useful i mean it would be useful for anybody who can pick up a pen you know but particularly the people you know that suffer from mental health problems it is particularly uh, um, God, I keep using my chain of thought and it's so fucking annoying um, Fuck it, I can't, I can't bloody remember what I was going on about Let's just try and get through this the rest of this as quickly as possible because this is, you know really long and it would take a fucking age to uh, upload. Wow, god. Oh yeah, a lot of the time I go from... Oh, look, it's me, modern day troll. Oh yeah, and I really do swear a lot, <laughs> as you probably probably know that already. <laughs> um, that's the thing, you know. I don't when I'm on social websites and stuff. I don't really give a fuck how much I'm swearing anyway. But uh, you know, particularly in journals and whatnot, you can swear however much you want. You know, you could use fuck every other fucking word. You know, it really doesn't matter because. At the at the end of the day, the only one who's going to see it theoretically is you. Um, so you know, fuck people who don't like swearing. <laughs> I love swearing. Swearing is so fucking great. You know, it's good stress relief, and 